Welcome back to Sharing with Serena. Today, I will show you how to make vegetable paste, the mother of all vegetarian meals, especially if you cook Vietnamese vegetarian dishes. Oh, please hit that like, subscribe, or share if you really like this video. My name is Serena. My oldest sister has been a vegetarian for uh, 20 uh, years. She tried to convert me, and ever since I was sick with fibromyalgia, I leaned to a vegetarian person. Uh, she gave me this vegetable paste. It's awesome. It made my life so much easier. But because of the pandemic, it's really difficult to get. So I'm trying to make my own. Hmm. By the way, that product is made in Taiwan. I love Taiwanese products, not because they have a woman president, but because they have a human right protection. And I think every country should have this for their people. And for today, I will make paste of vegetable and we're gonna steam it, stew, fry, and make a dessert. Are you ready for the ingredients? I know Vietnamese foods just like Indian foods. We cook every meal like our last one on earth. It requires a lot of spices, fresh ingredients. You might think it's time consuming, but if you know how to manage the time while cooking one meal to the other, one fundamental element can make many healthy meals. Okay. After I edit, I realize it was too long. I don't want to torture you, so I break in two sections. Part number one is about making vegetable paste and fish stew, Vietnamese style. Then the second part is about Vietnamese vegetarian sandwich with vegetable patty and a sweet dessert. Okay, let's do it. Now we will create a vegetable paste out of arrowroot and Japanese jam. Cut up one half cup of arrowroot and one half cup of Japanese jam. It is okay if it goes over a bit. Well, that is easy, is it? It's only about two minutes or more and you have a vegetable paste. Not bad at all. Once you have blend both roots, you should have one cup of vegetable paste. See how nice and thick? Without flour or soy in it. Total vegan. Remove half cup of paste and add all the ingredients into the blender. Oh wait, the minced garlic. Oops. <laughs> it's supposed to be you for later. It's all right, I love the garlic and it will be fine. Crap, what's just happening? Oh, joy. I have paused for a while. Yes, it fixed. Everything I have is neither tape, glue or nail down. Laugh a while. Let's get back to our meals. Are you half a cup of chickpeas and half a cup of tapioca starch? It's best to add in bit by bit. If you like a drier taste, then you three four cup of chickpeas and one four cup of tapioca starch. Try to get the thick consistency. If the flour is too firm, it will be too hard. I know, I know, it doesn't look very appealing, but it would taste amazing. You know, not the outside that counts, but it's the inside that makes the difference. Same thinking as this. Are you seaweed paper so it replicates the taste of the sea? Always use the parchment paper to hold it in place, or you can use a banana leaf. Cooking Asian foods? You need to own a banana tree. Thanks to my older sister, I have one, yeah! I use banana leaves for everything, regular meals to dessert, which I will use later. I swear, the banana tree is a gift from God. Steam the fish cake in low medium heat for 15 minutes. From here, I will continue with the vegetable patty to make Vietnamese sandwich and me die. But to save time, we're gonna continue with this meal. Okay. Promise, it will look much better at the end. Well, if you can wrap the parchment paper tightly, it will look even better. Some people also use a string to tie them together. Now, I slice it diagonally like this. Almost done. Let's go fry it. I love 
<laughs> so I try not to use a lot of oil. Anything that is fried, I'm willing to eat it. Fry and low heat for two minutes on each side till the color turns brownish. Oh my, love the smell of cinnamon, garlic, and onions. As I get older, I think I eat more and more garlic, onion, and vegetables, which is a good thing. Add three tablespoons of sugar into a heating pan. Caramelize to golden brown. Ah, here's where the mint garlic goes. <laughs> and the rest of the ingredients. Remember to cook in low heat from three to five minutes on each side. By the way, I have to return to work pretty soon. I have two part-time jobs, plus my YouTube channel. That should keep me very busy. I will upload every Friday night, 9 p.m. on either about Vietnamese vegetarian food or my journey returning to work with fibromyalgia during this pandemic. I am scared, but when you are low income, you have no choice. Return to work or you lose everything. Besides, everybody is wearing a mask, so I feel a little safer. <sighs> Hopefully, um, I don't get sick or my family. Besides, I also join Patreon. What is Patreon? Patreon is a community of support, people who would like to support artists like myself, so that way we can create more work. Uh, and if you if you help me to reach my goal, perhaps I will let go of one of my job and dedicate more time to create more videos. And this is your first time here. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, ask question, send it to me, and um, let's get back to our cooking. Add the rest of the green onion. Vietnamese meals always have a lot of types of onion, and the more green onions and garlic will add incredible flavor to this dish. Also, you can add a mushroom too, and if you do, do it after you pour in the water. I already turned to the other side, and now it dry up a bit. You don't have to add fried shallot, but it will add a fantastic kick to the stew. Oh my goodness, I love fried shallot. I can eat it by itself. Oh, by the way, you can add a bit more juice to the fish stew. I just like a bit drier. And of course, more black peppers. Vietnamese fish stew go well with the sweet and sour soup. Ah, I already showed you how to make the hot pot, but this one is with sweet potato leaves, elephant ear plants, and the usual ingredients. If you cook fresh potato leaf, don't just cook it. There is a process of how to cook it, just like the elephant ear plants. Well, this is the end of part one. Next time I will show you how to make Vietnamese vegetarian sandwich, banh mi chai. <laughs> I have a vegetable paste. Uh, if you want to know more about Patreon, there's a link below. And thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye-bye.